Hello guys, I'm back with the video and today just gonna show you a new setup. In my previous video I told you that I'm about uh, to make something and I show you and here it is, it's an oil pump. I've done so many videos on the lathe and uh, I modified, I adjust uh, the mini lathe and one of the first thing b before those alignment and modification one of the, one of one of the thing I did to the lathe was I drilled I drilled a hole under the block and I sealed my block to kind of make a lubrication system oil recirculation system for the lathe and but I, I didn't uh, make any video or any, I didn't mention that on my previous uh, videos. So uh, some of the some of these mini life comes with the metal gear and some with the plastic gear. And f uh, from the manufacturer they put some grease on and there is no any lubrication point or anything like it. And as you know and the thing with the grease is after some time the grease just uh, as the gears mash it together the the grease comes off and uh, basically after some time it makes a weird noises you know you need to keep the loops on or uh, put some grease on again but the thing is as I mentioned there is no any place to put a new grease on or anytime you need to put the grease on you need to take off the block one of the first thing I did to my lathe when I was upgrading, the, I mean when I was changing my spindle bearing I add up two points at the top of the block so I can lubricate from the top or put some grease from the top and but I mostly use a oil rather than a grease because first the grease warms out like it goes off and it just dumped and it's uh, basically it just remains in the block and it's become like slightly messy so the reason I added the hole uh, small hole or drain drain point to my bed under the block uh, basically to mostly as I mentioned just I, uh, I, I knew I'm gonna use oil on the gears and uh, and this oil shouldn't shouldn't be uh, remain on the bed because it's gonna leak from the side of the block and it's gonna mess up everywhere. So I made a drain point and I also use some uh, gasket paper to seal the block uh, from uh, leaking the oil from the sides. Uh, after after I drill the bed, I I add up just a small piece of uh, pipe or it was just a screw I drilled through and I make it like a pipe and then I connect and I connect some uh, tube to that drain point simply to recycle the oil and take the oil and collect it to the small reservoir so this is the tube where the oil coming from the block basically it drains off to drain the oil coming off off of this pipe or hose and then and what I've done this is the back cover just place uh, a print out a part to basically hold the jar here to collect the oil so this uh, 3D printed part I placed at the back. I can put a clip at the back of this and also hold my jaw here and tidy it up. Maybe turn it a little bit there.
and that's the way I'll put the belt on it's so easily just a little bit of turn and that's it okay this is the hub where the oil comes from a four millimeter tube and goes to this point and it's shared between three other points two goes for the two gear for a high speed and low speed and one goes to the pump itself to lubricate uh, the bo bottom of piston and uh, they're, they're basically the camshaft the crankshaft I'm quite exciting to see how it works right now let's see moment of truth is it working oh yes So as you can see the oil is empty and the jar is empty almost and the oil is returning from the block inside and it takes some time well, as it gets filled up again it sucks the oil back in and this is also the extra oil from the pump back to the jar with this hose uh, quite interesting you know But this pump it works like a two stroke engine it just uh, we got like a two uh, check valve at the sides if you don't know what is the check valve 
check valve is like a one-way valve so it, the fluid or gas or whatever comes from one direction and it cannot return so as and we got one piston here and this is the cylinder basically and the piston inside as it comes down it sucks the oil from this and this this side and as it returns so basically as you can see the oil plays at this point so as I it goes up it basically is pump the oil and I push the oil from this check valve and as it goes down the oil sucks up from this point and there was an issue with this uh, first when it, f it comes with the it, when, when the pump get full with the oil it's a slightly turned tightly because of the sparing inside the valves and they are quite strong and it's really hard to let the oil in or out so one of the issue is that okay what I notice here apparently the oil goes over the spindle and it leaks from the bearing sides and uh, I didn't take this to the cont <laughs> I don't know and basically uh, I'm not sure that if I keep this is quite like it, it feels like I overdid it you know just want to show you how I'm gonna take me to take the whole things off taking off the pulley that's it loose first part off To take a pump off, there is just a two screw at the top. Not really much into it. Um, I can simply put it back. All right, and this is the very very basic setup. And as you can see, I kept the jar here, and also I made the adapter. So I can place this uh, the dispenser pump, dispenser pump at the top, uh, and uh, simply connect the pipe at the tip of the dispenser, and it pumps the oil up, and it comes to these two points. So, and if you want to see how it works, just push it, and it easily comes up. So anytime I need some lubrication, just give a little push on this and some oil comes through. And if you want to see how good it's lubricating, now as you can see, just going to pump some oil. And as you can see, this equally comes off. So let me hold it here and uh, with my other hand just push so for 
For my lubrication system, I'm just gonna keep this jar. Uh, it looks very clean and very simple and effective in the same time. So, and this is the pump. I don't know if I open it or I use the part for something else. I don't know, but probably I'm gonna keep it as it is and I keep it in my collection uh, doing this pump making this pump uh, to me was more like a commitment and uh, as I mentioned this project backs in two years ago and it was one of the very first thing that it comes to my mind to uh, to do to this lathe so basically I, I made a drain point but I did I didn't make the, this pump and after two years I did it. it to me it was more like being committed to my plans you know in this video I only show how the pump works but in my next video I'm gonna show you the whole process of building this uh, pump so thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time mm -hmm.